Hi, my name is Alyssa and I talk about art, illustration, and animation. This week I'm doing a speed paint of some work I did for Charity, specifically Charity Land, which is a stream hosted by three prominent theme park, Disney YouTubers, uh, Defunct Land, Disney Dan, and Rob Plays, and a myriad of other special guests. If you watch any theme park or roller coaster adjacent uh, YouTubers at all, I'm sure your favorite YouTuber will either be a guest or will be in the stream participating with the stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. The Charity Land fundraiser is raising money for Give Kids the World, a nonprofit organization who, in addition to having their own theme park called Give Kids the World, Village, which is awesome. Uh, they also help out kids who are sick and special needs visit not only their theme park, but all the surrounding theme parks in the Orlando area, including Disney World and Orlando and Busch Gardens and all that fun stuff. They're also a really highly respected and reputable charity, so you know that all the money you're donating is going right into this good cause to help bring happiness to kids and their families. So Give Kids the World and Give Kids the World Village a really worthy cause, a really awesome thing to give money to this time of the year, spreading happiness and joy this Christmas season. There was an open call by Defunctland on Twitter, who also runs the Charity Land Twitter account, um, asking creators, uh, vloggers, artists, whatever, to submit things that they could play during intermissions on the stream, and I submitted a couple really super quick speed paints, like 15 second versions of the speed paints I'm going to have in these videos, but I thought I'd also show the footage here as a more drawn out speed paint because first of all I am happy with how these came out, I think they came out really cute and I kind of wanted to talk about the process of making them, but also I did want to get the word out there to what small audience I do have here that maybe doesn't watch Theme Park YouTube and let them know about this stream and to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, December 15th. Go tune into Charity Land and donate and participate and check out all the cool guests they're going to have. It's going to be an awesome stream. With all that said, let's get right to the speed paints. So Santa Mickey was the first idea I had. I pitched it to Defunct Land. I was like, hey, I'm an artist. Uh, do you want anything for the stream? And he was like, yeah, if you can do a time lapse speed paint, that would be awesome. And I said, is Santa Mickey good? And he was like, yeah. So I had to go ahead for Santa Mickey and I got a little bit more creative after I finished Santa Mickey. So the, this first idea was like the simplest to execute, though I did have a lot of trouble with Mickey's eyes. Like in official artwork, depending on what era of Mickey you're looking at, his eyes for like the 90s Mickey, which was kind of the Mickey I was going for, was very 90s V cover uh, Mickey. His eyes are a lot smaller and beadier than you think they are, so I throughout this, even while I'm inking, you'll see me readjust the eyes several times and get the pupils even smaller and closer together and whatever. It's hard to get that just right, I feel like, but I think in the end it looks all right. And um, because, like I said, I was inspired by Disney VHS cover art, I wanted these nice crisp uh, lines with colored outlines, and I also wanted this nice soft uh, airbrush color style because there's not a lot of hard edges in the color when you look at that kind of artwork. It's all very like soft airbrushed with very like blended colors and it gives this very soft squishy kind of look to it. It's almost like you know when you airbrush art on the sides of like uh, you ever been to like a county fair with those little rides they set up with the airbrush stuff on them. Almost like that but a little bit more put together than that with the nice hard edges. And when I did the very quick speed paint version of this, the 15 second version, I cut out all those iterations of where I was trying to align the Give Kids the World writing and try different styles. I cut all that out because I wanted to give the impression that I knew what I was doing. So making a really fast speed paint where you cut out all your mistakes is a great way to accomplish that. And with this nice soft snow and the little snowflakes and the little touch of highlight on the ears and hat, um, I think I'm done with this piece. And here is the final result. I think this one turned out pretty well and I'm happy with the little Give Kids the World uh, logo on the bag as well. Next up, I did a speed paint. I thought it would be fun to do some of the mascots from Give Kids the World Village, and this is Mayor Clayton and Miss Mary, who are two rabbits that are the, I guess they reside in Give Kids the World Village as their story. I'm not sure what their, their lore is beyond the fact that they're very cute little rabbits that I wanted to draw. So I come up with this little scene. At first I was just going to have them like waving hello, lo looking at the camera waving hello, and I thought it might be fun to do some kind of interaction together, like I thought, well, maybe he's got cookies, and I was like, no, I'll make him Santa, and he's giving her a gift. So I thought that would be a cute little interaction between the two rabbits to do. And they were pretty fun to draw. There's some official art of these characters that looks very, like, Disney-fied and cute, so I went with that kind of style, but also injected a little bit of my own personal... I don't know how I draw things into this as well. They're like how I do the feet is very reminiscent of how I'm doing all my Animal Crossing characters, all the rabbits and stuff like that. So it's like a blend of like Disney meets Alyssa style, I suppose. <laughs> and again, with this, I wanted to do the very like soft airbrush look with the, uh, you know, softer brushes and nice colored outlines and feel very warm and fuzzy and cute and nostalgic and that all those good things that you want to feel at Christmas time, you know? I messed with her pose a few times to get it just right. 
and the and the f the flow of her ears. I wanted her to have a nice, uh, I don't know, line of action or flowy line that goes through her. So yeah, here I am doing the line work the same way I did for the first piece, and this is a uh, look that I want to keep consistent between all the art I did, which I just did these first two pieces, and then I reached out to uh, Disney Dan, who I've been in contact because we may or may not be working on something else in the future. Hint, hint, I'm not going to plug it too much because I need to write a script for it, and I have no idea when it's coming out. But <laughs> anyway, so I reached out to him showing him, hey, here's what I did for Charity Lane because he's one of the hosts of it. And he was like, you know, because I said, uh, maybe could I do some other artwork for the stream? Do you guys need anything else? He's like, now that you said something. <laughs> so he gave me an assignment, which is the next thing I'll show in the speed paint. But it was because I sent him these and said, oh, I did speed paints of these and he really liked them. So yeah, I did the, uh, the nice soft coloring again on these guys and nice faded soft background with little snowflakes and... I was pretty happy with how it came out, um, especially I don't really do a lot of like airbrush shading like this, so I, I actually want to revisit it and try to do more authentic looking VHS cover style artwork. I think that would be a fun challenge to make like a fake Disney VHS cover of something or like a portrait of somebody I know in that style. I think that would be really fun to do. And here I'm messing with the font again. That was the bane of my existence was doing the hand lettering. <laughs> I could have just done it in Photoshop, but you know what? I wanted to do it by hand. So here's the final result. So my hardest and final assignment was, uh, because human drawing humans isn't my strength, but I w wanted to really nail this one because Disney Dan was like, well, we could use an image of uh, us three together. You know, Rob plays Defunct Land and me, and Defunct Land, uh, Kevin, his whole bit is that he doesn't show his face, so he tells people he's a wax likeness of Brad Pitt is kind of the running joke, so hence the Brad Pitt reference on the left. But the other references that look like they're cartoons drawn by me, they are. That was the original intent was to do these riggable, posable um, Adobe character animator puppets that Dan could then manipulate into different poses. But A, that would be too much work on Dan's end considering all the other stuff he has to get set up for the stream. I didn't want to put that on him. B, it was suggested to me like, hey, just do it in the same style as the other two. Uh, drawings that you've done already with Mickey and the Bunnies. So I was like, that's a good idea. Because then I could do like Disney print style, you know, with the soft airbrushing and this kind of like big eyed Disney prince look to the guys. I think it would be kind of fun to do. So, and I also wanted to point out that Kevin Defunct Land <laughs> um, is also heavily inspired here by John Smith. Because I was like, what Disney prince kind of has that Brad Pitt look? And I, the closest I could think of was John Smith. So, the style of the eyebrows and everything is very heavily pulled from uh, John Smith, if you wanted to know. <laughs> The red line reference here, or the red line redraw right here is my boyfriend's doing, thank you very much, because I struggle with foreshortening, it's something I gotta work on, but I wanted to get it, I wanted to make this just right for Charity Land, so it's always good to ask for help when you don't know how to do something, and uh, I definitely didn't know how to do that, so thank you boyfriend for the help. He also helps with uh, Rob's hand on the left at some point as well. It was actually Rob Play's request that he be dressed in the bunny suit of Ralphie from Christmas Story, because at first I was like... Uh, my first pitch was like, maybe you guys are wearing like ugly Christmas sweaters and Kevin's Santa and like Rob's got reindeer antlers, which was kind of like generic and lame. So <laughs> I'm glad that he suggested uh, the Ralphie bunny costume because I think that's way more fun. And then Dan, the reference photo you saw was when he was in a play, see, <laughs> where he was a ghost of Christmas present. So that, that fit him well. He had already dressed up like that and I had good reference for it. So it was perfect. And um... Yeah, so I'm going in and coloring it the same way I did the other two drawings with the nice soft, uh, well these are the flat colors, but I go in with the soft airbrush and make it nice and Disney VHS cover style like I did for the other two pieces. And this was a lot of fun to do because I don't normally draw a lot of people, it's something I don't take on a lot of commissions for, I don't do a lot of portrait requests and stuff, um, so it was fun to tackle this kind of work and get out of my comfort zone a little bit. <laughs> But I had most fun with the next assignment coming up in a few seconds. You'll see a quick speed paint of that. Dan messaged me. He was like, this is awesome. It turned out so great, blah, blah, blah. You'll see I had the text here at the bottom too. I'll show the final piece in a few seconds with the Charity Land font at the bottom. He was like, it turned out so great. Um, we also need a technical difficulties version. So if you could just make a version where our faces look like nervous, just change the smile so they look nervous. And um, I had way too much fun with this, considering that if all goes well in the stream, you'll never see these images. So I wanted to devote a little chunk of the video to them as well. I was like, I don't want to just change the faces. I want to change the poses. Like I got Rob pulling his ears out from being stressed and his face changes. And I wanted like hands on faces and sweating and like really nervous. Like, oh God, the stream's down. What do we do? What do we do? I wanted it to convey a sense of like nervousness and panic and also Dan's like half smiling, like trying to keep it together for the stream. Like, it's okay guys, we'll be back in a few minutes, I promise. Um, 
I wanted it to tell a story, and I had, again, way too much fun with this, considering that if it gets shown at all on stream, it'll literally be for like two seconds, but I wanted to make something really cool for Charity Land, so I don't regret any of it. So yeah, I went and I, um, I basically did the sketch over, and then I did the polish lines on a new layer, and did the painting on a layer under that, and then flattened the whole image so that I could essentially just paint over top of the old lines, if that makes sense, um, so that it would seamlessly blend the new and the old together, and then I went and erased all the old stuff and polished it all up. And I also did some variations where this is the blank one with nothing, and then I was like, I'll do the sepia tone one that he asked for with the technical difficulties, and then I also was like, oh, see, here's the sepia one that he had asked for. I was like, I'll do a sepia one, and then I want to do a black and white version as well, so in a few seconds I'll switch to the black and white version. I like, I like this black and white version quite a bit more than the sepia tone version, actually. And then I also did a variation of the technical difficulties that you would see on like a more modern TV with the color bars. And these colors are actually um, eyedroppered from the Charity Land logo. And then I did the final glitch version where it was just a standard TV glitch. And this one's actually my favorite of the whole set. I don't know which one they're gonna pick because I put five of them in the Dropbox and was like, have at it. And all he responded with was, oh my God, which is my favorite kind of reaction to get. So thanks Disney Dan for the great feedback and thanks for letting me be a part of Charity Land. It's been really awesome to work on these for all you guys and do something good for Give Kids the World. So those are my submissions this year for Charity Land. Um, I hope you guys like watching the speed paint progress of these come together. I really had a lot of fun working on these in the kind of airbrush soft Disney style that's a little bit uh, different from what I've been doing with all the Animal Crossing villagers lately. So it was nice to get a little bit of a change of pace while still staying true to my very like cutesy cartoon style. Not only was it a lot of fun to do this art for Charity Land because I'm a big fan of Theme Park YouTube and Defunct Land and Disney Dan and all these guys, um, but it was actually, it was a really great feeling to uh, offer my skill as an artist and to use it to promote a really great charity with a really great cause that I really believe in this time of year um, and I'm also going to be making a donation which I urge you guys to do when you watch tomorrow's Charity Land stream at 4 p.m. Eastern December 15th. Check that out again. I'll put the link on the video and in the description below so you can check that out. If you like the video give it a like. If you like watching speed paints and videos about art illustration and animation be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and in this week I don't know if I'm posting an Animal Crossing video tomorrow if I'm going to space it out so it's next Sunday. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what my Christmas plans are yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, have a great rest of your day and a very happy Charity Land if you're going to be tuned in tomorrow because I know I will be. Peace.